everybody. How's it going? Uh, Premier elect. Uh, well, can you talk to us about? Nice to, see you. nice to see you too. Can you talk to us about the history of this moment? You know, you who has chosen at a very young age, made a chief, run for the leadership, made an appeal to youth. What does this moment mean to you? I think this moment uh, should send a message to people in Manitoba, no matter where you come from. Uh, the road to uh, pursuing your dreams is open, and I really encourage young people to just live the best life that you can. And to Indigenous youth in particular? I think that I reflect on our family story. My dad wasn't allowed to vote when he was a young man. Tonight, his son was elected to lead the province. I believe in our democracy. I believe in our province. And I believe in young people from all backgrounds. So I really encourage you. Did you have a conversation with other staff? I did. And what did you do to, what did you say? Well, we just uh, exchanged the uh, typical words that go in a call like that. And then I added that... Uh, before either of us were leader, we used to chit chat, and I hope that uh, once the transition and everything is complete, we can return to that in the future. What's the next in terms of transition? Uh, put together a cabinet, front speech in November. Uh, it's going to be a busy fall, for sure, and I think there's no shortage of things to do. We ran this election on health care. I think we earned the votes of Manitobans on health care, so health care is going to be a huge priority, but we know that we got to be responsible stewards of the economy as well. And there's so many priorities for people in Manitoba right now, but I think it, uh, it feels uh, very exciting to be part of a team that has been working so hard to put a positive vision forward for the province and to see Manitobans say that they want that positive approach for the next four years in the province, I think is very, very encouraging for uh, the future of Manitoba. Ben, je vous remercie beaucoup. Quand le Saint Boniface va avec les Néo, ça c'est quand on forme le gouvernement de notre province. Et puis, il y a beaucoup de monde. La francophonie, c'est plus grand que le Saint Boniface, mais le Saint Boniface, c'est une grande partie de la patrimoine pour les francophones ici. Et pour moi, comme être le, la personne élue, pour être le prochain premier ministre, je voudrais être un, un premier ministre qui pourrait engager avec vous dans votre langue maternelle. Well, I think we uh, are going to um, focus a lot on staffing up the healthcare system. I think that. We laid out a very positive vision for how we can build the future of healthcare with new emergency rooms, the cancer care headquarters, clinician research positions. But in order to do those things, we need the staff in the healthcare system. And so I took time on stage when I knew people were going to be watching to send a message that we want the healthcare staff to join us on the front lines here, whether you're in Manitoba, you're in other parts of the country around the world. And I think we're going to have to back, uh, back that up with serious effort to make sure that we can get those nurses and physicians and healthcare practitioners working at the bedside for the people of this province. Obviously, it's a huge issue for Indigenous people. Uh, and Kathy Merrick said it's a human rights issue. So what will you do with that uh, promise that you made to back a landfill search? Well, we're going to keep it. Well, I think first we have to deal with the transition and the swearing in, but uh, it is an issue that needs to be pursued uh, very quickly because there's families who are grieving and uh, the administration of justice uh, needs to move along promptly. Now, Heather Savinson said that it would cost a lot of money. Or would you approach the federal government to help fund a search? Uh, we will, yeah. We. Oui. Pour, pour, pour euh, fouiller euh, le dépotoir, c'est un enjeu important parce qu'il y a les familles qui ont besoin de le respect. Et puis, au même temps, ils doivent trouver une, une façon de lancer ce cette, euh, cette, euh, projet qui va respecter euh, l'administration de la justice dans la province. Alors, ça, ça, ça doit arriver tout de suite. Les Manitobains et Manitobaines 
aime un, un message positif. Ils veulent avoir un futur qui est fondé d'un message d'avoir une province où tout le monde se rassemble. Et pour moi, c'est très excitant de voir ça parce qu'il y avait un choix très clair. Un, un message de division ou un message d'avoir une province ensemble. Et puis je suis très fier de tout le monde dans cette province pour euh, nous donner la chance. Oui, yeah, fair enough. I have, I have. Uh, well, uh, you'll probably have it on the tape, but um, I'll just say again that uh, we exchanged the typical back and forth that happens on these sorts of calls, and that I just shared that prior to each of us becoming leaders, we used to chat, chit chat when we'd see each other. And so I hope once the transition is complete and we move on into uh, the next phases, uh, that we can get back to that. How does Juan Canoe celebrate the rest of tonight? Well, I had a, a sheet cake uh, upstairs <laughs> with some uh, friends and family and, and staff. And uh, of course, we're going to take a moment to, to shake hands and, you know, do the high fives and all that. But there's uh, a lot of work that needs to be, got, to, to be done. There's a lot of work. And so we're going to set our minds to uh, the transition. Oh, I think um, we ran a campaign on a message of unity, on a message of bringing people together. And throughout the various speeches, going back to the Canadian Mennonite University speech, to the one we gave to close the rally to, I hope the message I sent tonight, it has been about bringing people together. And so we're going to continue to focus on that. It's not easy being the first. Do you feel a weight of responsibility? Do you view it as a responsibility? The responsibility that I feel is to be the best possible premier that I can be to the people of Manitoba, because that's what the people of this province deserve. So for me, the goal has never been to be the first uh, of anything. The goal has been to be the best. And that's a tall order, especially uh, when I made that comment in front of Gary Dewar, and I recognize that he's probably the premier that Manitobans uh, look back at most fondly. But I'm going to try. And I think that's what our team staked our campaign on, is that we're going to try. Difficult things, like fixing health care right now, staffing up the health care system, trying to bring people together after the pandemic. These are difficult things. It's going to be challenging. We're going to try, and we're going to put forward a really strong foot to serve you, the people of Manitoba. The main shows? <laughs> Mais pour moi, c'était jamais un, 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 un projet d'être la première, n'importe quoi. C'était toujours, je suis toujours en train d'être la meilleure que je pourrais être, comme un chef, comme un premier ministre maintenant. Parce que ça, c'est ce que le, 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 les Manitobains ont besoin. Et puis pour moi, oui, c'est des grands défis qu'on voit maintenant dans le système de santé, avec l'économie. Mais une des choses qu'on était toujours en train de dire, comme notre équipe des NEO, c'est qu'on essaie, on essaiera de vous aider comme le peuple de cette province, ou on essaiera de, de, de guérir le système de santé. Alors moi, je suis très excité de maintenant avoir la chance de faire cela. Ouais. Three. Yeah. Yeah. My wife and kids had one of the most challenging jobs of this whole campaign, which is that they had to look at the attack ads and not respond in kind. And what I can tell them now tonight is that the people of Manitoba are good people because they rejected that sort of divisiveness and they embraced a message of positivity. Our message was about health care, it was about making life more affordable, but fundamentally it was about bringing people together. And I'm so, so humbled by the people of Manitoba, the Manitobans embrace that message. Ben, ben, ça se peut que vas avoir du monde qui, qui auront des chemises bleues, on pourrait dire. Avec les députés, on va voir. <laughs> I have spoken to so many people from different walks of life, business people, the average 
community member watching their kid or their grandkids hockey game and over and over again I have heard people say that the last three years have been so rough we've been so divided because of the pandemic and all the aftershocks from that and people want us to come together again and I think one of the foundations that we can stand on tonight as a, a government uh, that will soon be sworn in is that Manitobans have sent a clear message to us and to the rest of the country that we want to come together again. And so it's going to be up to us to stand up and deliver on that tall order. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.